Hi everybody! Today I'm going to do this video and show you where I store my makeup and what's inside the drawers. Keep watching! Today this is a video about my makeup storage and these are the drawers that I keep it in. Uh, these are IKEA drawers, around, uh, around £20, I'll put the link in the bar below, and they're made out of the metal. And in the top drawer is my base drawer. And inside at the front, I've got my YSL Touche Clear foundation. I'm going to do a review on that. Model mirror, my concealers, my Hydrofail moisturizer, which I did a video on and I'm really loving. And then all my powders at the front, pressed powders and loose powders. One of the ones I'm really enjoying at the moment is this one from Sleek. And there we are. It's a really nice powder. Then coming at the back, I've got my Gosh primers. I've got a couple of Smashbox samples. Um, prescribed foundation, what I use when my skin's pretty bad. Mineral foundation. Um, Max Factors Miracle Touch, which I really enjoy. That's a cream and then a mousse foundation at the back. And then these are all my other foundations. Uh, they're organised in order of how much I use them and how much I like them. So the top one is um, the Bourjois Healthy Mix, which I really love. So And I also did a, a review video on these foundations, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, any of the others you, you can just leave questions in the down bar and I can review anything that you would like me to so that is the top drawer the second drawer is the highlight and bronze drawer so in here this is what it looks like and at the front I've got all my benefit boxes of powders I've got a review video on those if you want to check that out and see any more information about those including the little brush that I use there to put them on in this box here are all my highlighting products. Got a couple of liquid ones. I really love this accessorised one. I got this at Superdrug. It's a gold toned. And then there's a Benefit one and a Revlon in the bottom there. At the back I've got my High Beam and Moonbeam from Benefit. I really love those. Um, I had Moonbeam the longest but I got this quite recently and it's really nice. Again, anything you see I can do a review on. I did a review on the little Bourjois highlighter. It's really nice. And then I've got a couple of MAC cream colour bases in, in the Luna, which is the white, and the Hush, which is in a shell pink colour. I can review those as well. They're really nice, lovely little highlight powders. My favourite one is this MAC in Silver Dusk. I was wearing that in my cream egg video. It gives a lovely glow. Then I've got my Minimalized Skin Finish. And then I've got my Shimmer Bricks that I did my reviews on and my YSL uh, pink palette which was limited edition I got this um, quite recently and this is Halo uh, this is a one of the Asda shimmer bricks but this is in a different colour than the other one I have it's in quite creamy, ice creamy colours that's really nice, that is amazing and I will include that in an upcoming video and then on this side are my Smashbox got my soft fusion powders here I've got those in a couple of colours and then I've got um, Big Starburst and Limited Edition Heartbreaker. Another Smashbox um, highlighter there. Then I've got this amazing Too Faced Candlelight one. Um, and number seven, which was Limited Edition. And then at the back, got my Ico highlighters. So there's two of those. There's an ordinary one and then there's an extra glow one. And then at the back also are my bronzers, including um, Bourjois. A couple of mousse ones. Uh, my favourite one, which is from Accessorize. I am going to do a video about all the products that I've got from them. I think they're really amazing. And then I've got a couple of other random bronzers back here. And then I've got this dainty doll here. This is actually a blusher, but I just find that this is um, a strange colour for a blusher, but I knew that it would make a great con a contouring powder. It's like a beige colour. And I use that with this Benefit brush. I actually got this on eBay because I wanted to keep my other ones nice. So I use this as a contour. It's fantastic for pale skin because it's not too dark. So I can I can do the video with a tutorial about that and show you how that works. Then coming down um, I have cheeks. In here are my blushes. Got um, some high street ones here, number seven. I love these accessorized blushes. Um, these are very much like the, the MAC Mineralized blushes. Um, they're veined and domed, really pretty. A couple more high street ones. Um, my Dainty Doll blushes, I really love these. This one is my favourite colour. It's a lilac. It's really nice. It's very pale. 
it's just got really it's quite a nice highlighter on the cheeks and then in the I've got some mousses and then these are my Macs uh, my favorite one is probably pink cult from the genius range and also I love these ones which are from the venomous villains I really like the packaging on those at this side are the number 17 blushes and the blush and gauze as well uh, these are really lovely but I've also got a video on those if you wanted to check those out really nice blushes some more high street ones here and then at the side I've got my Daniel Sandler's I don't know if you can see that there these are watercolour blushes shake them up I'm going to do a video about these I've got them in five different colours here I'll do a video show you the colours and how you apply them you literally use the tiniest little dot and they just give the most amazing coloration on your skin this one's probably my favourite this is icing you do have to keep on shaking them just to make sure that they don't dry up okay at the back here we've got um, some highlighters from Virgin and number seven and then I've just got accessories here really I've got some eye remover pads and them eye removers and then some cotton buds and some applicators and I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter couldn't be without this it's an amazing spray for setting your makeup and at the back is my beauty blender underneath so that is that drawer and the next drawer is lips in this drawer I've got all my MAC lipsticks here uh, my Revlon mattes and my Gosh ones and I've got a little Smashbox palette I actually got that free with an order from a website these are really lovely peachy colours it's really nice over here in the side I've got some lip smackers and lip balms my MAC lip arrays which is amazing some primers and overcoats and then underneath are my lip balms I love the milk and honey and the original blue so that's all my lip balms then I have some lip jellies some eye core, some bloom and in the back are some glosses um, these you can see a video on my channel about my glosses including the Avon Spectra colours that's what's back here here are some Vaseline tubs that I got in my big Vaseline um, tin that I got recently and there's some random lipsticks I don't use so much at the back lip liners and lip pencils and um, like lipsticks in pen form right down the side my favourite um, lip glosses from collection 2000 lock and hold I also have a video on my channel about those and some random lipsticks that I really love the colour of I've got my Illamasqua Obey I love this um, there's a review saying it was orange on one person's side but I do find it's just the most beautiful coral although it's matte it's really nice on your lips it doesn't feel dry in and it lasts a long time then I've got a couple of Barry M lipsticks uh, which um, are new, well two of them are, they're the peach and the coral one. I uh, showed the peach one in a MAC dupe video I did. And then I've got a couple of other colours here. This one is one of my favourite new ones, so just a really vibrant pink. I got that after seeing Cougar Town and seeing Laurie wear a beautiful pink and that's a very close match. So that is the lip drawer. The next drawer is eyes and this is what this one looks like so I've got my naked palette here and underneath that are all the accessorizer eyeshadows that I own and a couple of Revlon matte ones then I've got two of my favorite pens here a Barry M one and my black number seven eyeliner which is you can see is being very used back here are a couple of MAC eyeshadows I've got some MAC pigments including this really lovely glitter from the Wonder Woman range and then also in here are a couple of eye primers. Uh, I've got Gosh, got Urban Decay. Um, I've got my favourite is this number seven one. Um, this is I think it's in slightly different packaging now. I think it might be in white, but it's really creamy. It's pink. It's really soft. It's easy to use. I've got the Dainty Doll one, but I find you have to work with that quite a lot to get it on your finger. It's quite a hard product. And then over here, also some more high street eyeshadows. All my L'Oreal infallible ones are here, they're my favourites. Some gosh glitters, um, gosh eyeshadows at the front, bourgeois, and then a couple of more just Rimmel, Maybelline underneath and Revlon. I have a mirror in here, this is magnifies times 12, it's, I use that to put my eye makeup on. Then I move on to my brows, I've got my Urban Decay brow box here, and my gosh um, brow kit, and then some eye um sharpeners and some Vaseline and then underneath there these are my 
um, brow pencils. Got uh, Highbrow by Benefit. Uh, the one I use the most, as you can see, it's being shortened to death, is the Rimmel one. Uh, I've got a number seven one, and then some brow gel from Gosh. Back here are some eye dusts and glitters from Barry M and Gosh. And that is um, my liquid liner from Maybelline. And then just some Vaseline. Use the Vaseline when I'm putting glitters on my eyelids or when I'm using um, an eye dust. Really helps set it. Back here um, in this box are some um, glitter eye pencils and all of my mascaras from the Million Lashes. My favourite clear one from Collection 2000. So um, I love this Collection 2000 glitter eyeliner. And so that's just a bunch of eye pencils and yeah, and an Urban Decay eyeliner I love. Down the side are some Models on eyeliner pencils, they're neon colours. I couldn't actually fit those in this box here because they're too long. And on top is my favourite Urban Decay Ultimate Box of Shadows. Lovely vibrant colours, love these. Don't use the golds or bronzes much, but love the bright colours. So that's those in there. And then the bottom drawer is palettes and stock. At the front of the drawer are some um, MAC palettes. I got these on eBay. I don't actually, you know, I don't think they're real. But I just really love the colours in them. And they weren't very expensive. So I got a George one. I used this one for the Rihanna S&M video. And then I've got some other random ones. My number 17 I use a lot. Um, a lovely number 7 limited edition one. My favourite Avon. Smoky Eye. Got a nice um, MAC one at the front. And then this, which was an idea I got off another person's video, um, this is a little tin, and then I got some fake eyeshadows, uh, I think they're fake MAC, I mean I don't know if they're real or not, got them off eBay, but just stored them in there, because I'm not sure whether they're real. And then these are my, um, the Gosh 134 lipsticks, so this is it here, and it's a beautiful nudie pink. And every time I'm in, I get a three for two from Gosh. Well, not every time, but every now and then I pick those up. So I've got a couple of those in there. And then, moving back here, extra makeup bag. And underneath that is my stock drawer. So if there's any three for twos on, I'll just tend to pick up the odd item that I already have that I love. So I've got my number seven pencil. That's for when the other one runs out. An eye core liner. Um, Mac, when the site was down, you had a, you got an uh, email to say you could get a free mascara. So I actually got three of those. I just split my order into three because I had free delivery. So got three of those mascaras. A couple of lip glosses. Barry M limited editions, free with impulse. My favourite concealer. Some powders and the limited edition highlighter. Um, and acid washed because I, I knew that that would sell out. Then down the side are my eyelashes got quite a lot of these um, Girls Loud Festival lashes. These are 99 pence at Home Bargain, so if you live, live in the UK, I would definitely check those out. These are the ones that I wore in my cream egg video. So I've got a couple of those extra, and I've got a couple of Kimberly ones that had feathers on the outer edge, but I trimmed those off. And then I've got my favourite glue from Revlon, and a couple of other random lashes, models on from the um, a tube shop, and Ardell ones. So that is in the bottom drawer. So that is it. That is my makeup collection. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.